Hello everybody. In today's labcast I will outline the lithography and etching process for manufacturing microwave circuits on planar substrates. The process involves four steps. The exposure, the development, the etching and the stripping of the circuit. We start with a microwave substrate which is covered on both sides with copper and the copper is again is covered by a photoresist layer. The first step is the exposure. We start with a transparent mask of the circuit. The mask is placed onto the circuit board inside the exposure machine. First we create a vacuum to remove any extra air bubbles between the substrate and the mask. We close the lid and start the exposure using UV light. The UV light is applied for about 240 seconds and after that the photoresist layer is exposed. We open the lid, release the vacuum and remove the circuit. After the exposure of the photoresist, we have to develop the photoresist in order to remove the exposed sections of the photoresist. This is done by placing the circuit board into a sodium hydroxide solution and wipe off the exposed photoresist. After the process, only the parts of the photoresist are left over which are unexposed, which means the sections which are wear black on the mask. Once the extra photoresist is removed, we can step forward to the actual etching of the circuit. The etching removes all of the copper which is not covered by photoresist. We place the board inside the etching machine. The etching machine includes an asset which is heated up after turning on the machine. The asset is sprayed onto the circuit board for about uh, five to eight minutes. After this time period we can actually see that the copper has been removed by the solvent and we see uh, copper where the photoresist is on and the removed copper where the photoresist is missing. The circuit is now still covered with a photoresist layer where the copper is on and uh, that's not good because we have to solder on that layer. That means we have to strip off the photoresist now. Stripping is done with a solvent called photoresist remover and it's just performed by taking the solvent and rubbing off the photoresist layer from the circuit board. Now our photolithography process is completed and we can move to the next step which is applying the components onto the circuit board.